So we know that different landforms are visible on topographical maps by looking at the patterns of the contour lines um, and also how the slopes are in real life. So if we look at a contour map, we know if the contour lines are really close together, that means that the slope is steep. And if they're further apart, that means that the slope is gentle. So what I'm drawing over here is a mesa. Um, you can see a layer of resistant rock on the top. We get our back wasting. I'm going to draw on the side over there. Okay, so we know the mesa slope that we are looking at on either side. So what we're going to look at is the side of the mesa that I've drawn. Um, as It kind of looks like it's dipping in and we're going to have a look at what that means now. Um, so my top contour. I'm going to draw an imaginary tread beacon so we can <laughs> orientate ourselves. So you can see here the contour lines are really close together for that first half because the um, top half is really steep and then they kind of separate out a little bit because the bottom half of the slope is gentle relative to that top half. So that is what we call a concave slope um, and if we look at how it's drawn uh, it's very mathsy. Um, that would be your concave slope. Now, a mesa would normally have this slope, so I'm just adjusting it a little bit. Um, but that we're going to look at is going to be the opposite. So, imaginary spot height. Let's orientate ourselves. Um, and closest to the spot height, we're going to have a slightly gentler slope. And then as we move to the second half, it's going to become steeper and steeper um, and that is going to give us a convex slope so the convex being gentler at the top and getting sleep steeper towards the bottom so if you have a look at this map of Hermanus um, since the topographical map you'll be familiar with let's have a look at Trig Beacon 209 over here we were going to move from Tritura line down to these houses and the power lines. You can see here we've got a whole lot of contour lines really close together. And as you get to the bottom of the slope, they start to spread out a little bit. So what kind of slope would that be? Take a moment. Okay, that would be our concave slope because they are further apart. Lines are further apart here and they get progressively steeper. On this map, Solari's Pass area, we're just going to have a look over here. So we're going, going, we're going from Langkloofberg all the way down to the river. So there you can see the contour lines are far apart as we go down and then suddenly they drop down. Um, so that's going to be A all at once now. Okay, that is a convex slope. So that is gentle at the top and steep further down. Um, this is quite cool. I just wanted to... Um, show you here if you look here at it's in Wurdenar's Gop okay so you have a look there if you go off to the west okay it's going to get very steep cliffs over there and then it's going to get gentle so on the one side of this mountain we have a concave slope but then if we were to go down the other side and we head east it's very gentle and then it gets steeper so this one mountain is going to have a concave and a convex slope um, which is quite uh, typical of Cape Fold Mountains because the Cape Fold Mountains, if we think back to our homoclinal ridges, we have one steep scarp slope and we have one gentle dip slope and so there we can see the scarp and there's the dip. Um, so we've got a, a concave slope and a convex slope. So this is a picture of that mountain range from the scarp slope side. Okay, so you can see on the top right there's some very steep cliffs and they kind of peter out and get more gentle towards the bottom. Um, and then on the map, this is what it will look like. So you've seen this map already. 
um, but you can see that gentle at the bottom and then it gets steeper and steeper towards the top and then if we were to go to the other side of the mountain this is what you'll see leading down towards a dam that's actually at the top of the mountain there but you can see that the um, top of that mountain down to where the photographer is is quite gentle um, the top of that mountain is the top of that really steep scarp slope on the other side um, and you can see that on the map here um, where we are positioned on the opposite side of that mountain.